Hello and welcome to the Across International Showroom. My name is Evan, Senior Applications Engineer, and today we have an exciting topic, reactors. Stainless steel reactors, glass jacketed reactors, filter reactors, non-jacketed reactors, and how they all play a part in cannabis processing. As many of you may know, the chemical reactor is extremely versatile and can be utilized in numerous processes. It is for that reason that we offer 10 liter to 200 liter glass reactors and 100 to 300 liter stainless steel reactors, all ideal for cannabis extraction and processing. Decarboxylation. On the small scale, this can be done in an oven or on a beaker and a hot plate. But once we scale up above five liters, it's much more efficient and safer to utilize a reactor. By using a reactor, we can apply more consistent agitation and heating, as well as put the entire reaction under vacuum. By decarbing under vacuum, we can decrease the temperature needed, increase the speed of the process, as well as reduce oxidation. Another benefit of decarboxylation in a reactor is that the condensers are able to capture any residual solvent or valuable terpenes that may off-gas. Our double-jacketed glass reactors and stainless steel reactors are all ideal and very popular for these applications. Of course, our non-jacketed reactors utilizing a heating blanket are also very ideal for these processes. Winterization. Our jacketed reactors are ideal for cooling solvent as well as achieving winterization. When paired to a powerful liquid recirculating chiller, temperatures as low as negative 80 C are easily attainable. Stainless steel and glass reactors are both very popular for these applications. And our filter reactors can also be very useful depending on the methodology. Recrystallization. This process, sometimes referred to as isolation, can be done with various methodology, but for medium to large scale applications, the filter reactor reigns supreme. Jacketed filter reactors paired with robust heater chillers can allow for precise thermal cycling. This temperature flux, normally between negative 30 Celsius and positive 40 Celsius, is essential for efficient and controlled crystal growth. Once the crystals have been grown, the mother liquor can simply be filtered out through the filter plate at the bottom of the reactor, leaving dry crystals remaining in the reactor. Conversions and formulations. Reactor applications are unlimited and there are many ways to utilize them. For conversions and isomerizations like CBD to Delta-8 THC, there is no better platform. Processes as simple as mixing tincture or adding terpenes to distillate can also be achieved in a reactor. Even an initial extraction can be performed in our filter reactors. When it comes to versatility, we understand the markets. That is why we offer ULCSA certified reactor systems as well as peer-reviewed C1D1 explosion-proof packages. For more information, check us out at acrossinternational.com.